Hey everybody, welcome back. Now we are going to nest many elements within a single div element. The div elements are great for dividing up um, your content. So the div element, also known as a division element, is a general purpose container for other elements. The div element is probably the most commonly used HTML element of all. Just like any other self non-self-closing element, you can open a div element with div and you can close it with a closed div, with meaning like a forward slash div. So what we're going to do is nest our things cats love and things cats hate lists all within a single div element. And the hint is that we want to try putting our opening div tag above the things your things cats love p element and you want and your closing div tag to be after your closing uh, unordered list ols tags so that both of your lists are within one div. Okay, so essentially it just basically wants everything to, to be in here outside of the image and uh, the uh, upper stuff. So we're going to just add a div in here and we're going to come down here to below the main because you see that our div is specified here, whereas the main is specified here. And so the, um, we want to make it so our closing div is here. And another thing that we want to do, because we've made all of these within this div, we want to highlight all of this and press tab. And that moves all of this up. Again, the importance of coding, I said it in a, a few lessons ago, but the importance to having this sort of structure shows the person that you're working with that you can um, that you that you specify it makes it easier to read when this whole bit of code which is here you say we comment this out this will all disappear right this is within this div and so we want to make it so that we can see that by indenting it so having it close div here close div here that makes it so that we can understand just by quickly looking at the HTML file that this div contains all of this information and I think that that's important. So once again, you can highlight things and you can either press Command or Shift tab or you can press Tab to jump them out. And keeping your code in order like this will make it much more maintainable and useful in the future. Let's run the test to see if this passed. It passed, great. Divs, you're going to use a huge amount. So I would recommend, you can even do a closed div around the unordered list or something like this just to give you an idea for how these operate. They separate out your code so that it makes it so that you can specify it more in the future. This kind of thing will become very useful to you. So I hope this was helpful. Um, try to make some divs around some other things just so you get the hang of, of doing it in your own work. See you in the next lesson.